The state of Wisconsin says it's not doing business with a rideshare company over taxes. Good evening, I'm Lee Mills. And I'm John Stofflet. Uber is one of the latest to be considered non-compliant with state tax law, now changing the way the app is used by many. It's an issue our viewers have been wanting more clarity on, so let's bring in NBC 15's Michelle back with more information. Hi, John and Lee. First, the impact is on state agencies and authorities, including those at the UW system. An email to university faculty we obtained late last week says Uber is not allowed for work travel and those rides will not be reimbursed. So here's why. The Department of Administration says Uber was not collecting and reporting their sales and use tax appropriately as required by law. That non-compliance put the tech company on a list of the state's ineligible vendors, which by the way now includes more than 2,000 names. We also know the state of Wisconsin is prohibited from doing business with any vendor on that list. As far as next steps, a DOA spokesperson wrote to me, quote, if they are able to rectify this through DOR, then they'll be removed from the ineligible directory, end quote. DOR, of course, referring to the Department of Revenue. Now, when I took this question to Uber today, a spokesperson there told me the company was not notified of any issue with or by the state of Wisconsin. Live in the studio, Michelle Beck, NBC 15 News.